ADHD is not an attention disorder, it's a blindness to the future. It is a myopia to the impending future events. You are nearsighted in time, which means that the child and adult with ADHD are going to wait until the future is imminent. ADHD creates a nearsightedness to time so that the person with the disorder cannot organize to the delayed future, but only to the imminent future. And so everything in life becomes a crisis. But the crisis was avoidable, and no one has any patience with this because they see this as a moral failing. You could have chosen to get ready, but you didn't. It is phrased as a form of laziness. This layabout, ne'er-do-well, carefree, careless attitude that you could change if you wanted to, right? But we know it as the executive failure, it really is. This disorder precludes you from organizing across time. So you live in the moment, and you cannot organize very large, hierarchically sequenced behavior across time. It means that future-directed behavior is intentional behavior, which means ADD is actually IDD, intention deficit disorder. I don't seem to be able to accomplish most of the things I intended to do. You can call that a short attention span, but I think intention deficit disorder captures it much better. Now, the frontal lobes, the executive system is where you take what you know and you apply it in your daily life. It is not where you know something, it is where you use what you know. The back part of the brain acquires knowledge. The front, front part of the brain puts it in play. ADHD has separated these two like a meat cleaver. So it really doesn't matter what you know, you can't use it as effectively as other people can. ADHD is a performance disorder. You can't perform the things you know how to do. You're telling me all the professionals that I saw about ADHD didn't know this? BRB, uh, gotta go scream, and I would like my money back.